Hello everyone. Today we're doing lesson 1.2 balancing act from our first grade science course at K-12. Okay, students, you don't have to look at the screen if you don't want to. You can just listen to what I'm saying. Pretend I'm your learning coach and I'm reading out to you instructions and asking you questions. And learning coaches, if you're around, you can make sure your student is in engaging with this video so that she can get, he or she can get the most benefit out of this online lesson right now. Okay, what do scientists do? They use tools, they use instruments, and they use their senses. Do you remember your five senses? Mm. What's your first sense? It's sight. Good. And uh, then? Then it's your smell. Mm -hmm. Then your ears. Yeah, hearing is the another ears. sense. And taste. Like, I just used my sense of taste. Taste, taste my potato hash browns. Very good. And can't forget touch. Yeah. So there are five senses, and in no particular order, seeing, sight, that's one sense, and then hearing, that's another sense, and then smelling, that's uh, yet another sense, and then tasting, and then touching. So scientists, they use all of these senses to make observations of the world around them. Now, what kind of questions do you think a scientist would ask about an unknown object? Can you tell me, Mercy? How, what's the shape of it? How does it look? Look. What color is it? Yeah, what color is it? Yeah, these are all questions. Some Scientists of this. Mm -hmm. Some of the questions. Yeah. Scientists also take measurements of objects to discover more about them. Now, what measurements have you already learned to do? How to use a ruler. Mm -hmm. How to use a pan down. Very good. So and what how, what measurements do you make with the ruler? How high and how long. How high and how long something is? Okay, so when you're measuring how high something is, you're measuring the height of that object. And when you measure how long something is, you're measuring the length of that object. Mm Okay, so now scientists use words that you don't hear every day. That's part of what makes science fun. You get to talk about things like mass and matter. Even better, you get to find out uh, what these words really mean. So matter is anything that takes up space. The sand on the beach, a beach ball, your clothing, the water, these things are all made of matter. So are you, for that matter. So is everything in the universe. Everything that's a thing, everything that has a physical form, like trees and rocks and birds and rain and lima beans, even small things like dust and fleas, even wispy things like clouds and snowflakes and air, they all contain matter. Don't, don't forget it, sin things like hair and right. fat, things, fat things like frames. Yes, you are correct. So matter is just another way of saying physical stuff. It's not that you and sand are made of the same thing, but you're both physical things. So you're both made uh, up of matter. What about mass? Ever heard of mass? Do you know what mass is? Mm. Mass is another great science word. It means how much matter there is in something. Imagine a huge ocean liner zooming toward a dock in an action movie. So this is what the ocean liner is. It's like a huge uh, ship, okay? Okay. Okay, zooming toward a dock in an action movie. So here's the dock right here. Dock is the place where, you know, people get off from the And get on uh, the ship. ship. Yeah, yeah, and if there wasn't no dock, then there would be one once they get near the... Get mm -hmm. on the boat. Yeah, where would living. they get off? <laughs> okay, so imagine a huge ocean liner zooming toward a dock in an action movie. Look out, someone cries. It's out of control and it's massive. 
massive means it has a lot of matter. So this ocean liner right here, it's massive. Nobody gets excited when a dandelion puff blows onto a dock because there isn't much matter to it. <laughs> yeah. So an ocean liner is much more massive, it has much more matter than, uh, say, a dandelion puff. Yeah, but once... But there's, I bet there's only one person who gets excited when... Who? You? Know. you? Yeah. <laughs> when a dandelion... Okay. So you have to be careful, though. Size isn't the same thing as mass. A dandelion puff is about the same size as a golf ball. But the golf ball it's has heavier. more mass. There's more stuff in it. Now, scientists are people who like to figure out how nature works. And in order to do that, they like to measure things. Uh, they like to measure things. If you don't measure a thing, you can't know much about it. How do you measure mass? Well, think What's about it. Balance? Yeah. How do you know that a golf ball is more massive than a dandelion? You may have imagined holding a dandelion in one hand and a golf ball in the other and feeling which is heavier. Scientists do the same thing. Uh, scientists do something like that as well. They compare two masses on a device called a balance. So this is a balance. This is what a balance looks like. You should have received one from K-12. So a balance is two pans. Here are the two pans connected by a rod. This is the rod. Okay. And here's the hinge. Let's see what it says here in teacher tip. Um, a balance is similar to a seesaw. Have you ever been on a seesaw before? No. Mommy. Uh, okay, we're going to have to find a seesaw <laughs> somewhere in a park. Okay, If a seesaw is centered on its hinge, so this is its hinge right here on the uh, balance, and one person has more mass than the other, then he or she will sit lower on the seesaw. However, if both people have the same mass, the seesaw, like a balance, will even out. So here's what it's saying. When both of the pans have the uh, have objects that weigh the same, they're balanced. They're nice and straight like this, horizontal. Um, but if one object, let's say an object in this pan is heavier, then this pan would be lower down and this pan would be higher up. Okay. So let's play this okay. game. Think of it as a game, but really it's going to be your um, virtual lab experiment. So this is a balance, a virtual balance. You can use your real one. I actually, I encourage you to use the real one. Yeah, we have but a real one you can one play too. with this online one as well. Okay, here it says, find the mass of the ball. So this square right here, it's one gram. It's, so one of these squares equals one gram. So, so how uh, much would this equal? How much would the okay. yellow circle equal? Let's, how many cubes balance the ball? Let's okay, let's find one out. By one. So let's put one of these in there and see what happens. Well, it depends. Um, no, still. Okay, so this yellow circle is still heavier. We're trying to find out how many uh, squares here, how many squares it takes okay. to um, balance, to make it balance with this yellow circle over here. Let's see what happens. Let's try We're going to keep more. on adding squares in here till it becomes the same oh. level as this yellow circle. Two more should be good enough. One more. Just one. Oh, you, you got it right. You must have done this before. Yeah. <laughs> so it takes four squares. Look, one, two, three, four. Four, yeah. four squares, four red squares yeah. to make it balance with one yellow circle over here. So what do you think the answer would be? If one red square equals to one gram, uh, what would one yellow circle equal to? Four red squares. Four, sorry, it says four red cubes. Yeah. So it takes four red cubes to weigh the same as a one yellow circle sphere. or sphere. Ball. Okay, ball. Yeah. There you go. Okay, what is the mass of the ball? Okay, so this yellow circle <laughs> is the ball. What do you think the mass of this ball is? This is one gram. What, every one of these squares is one gram. What do you think the ball would be? Four grams! Perfect. Yes, I think you're correct.
important. Got it right. Looks like we have an experiment for students. Okay, so you guys are going to be doing this activity on your own in the online school. So click on your science course and then you'll find these materials. Uh, once you skip through all of these lessons, it's going to put a check mark next to it. Um, you come to number four, investigation balancing act. That's where you'll find the materials. Learning coaches can find the materials in their learning coach account as well. So first we have to review the materials list. I already have the materials list open up in a different browser, I mean a different tab. Let's go to the next screen and see what they say. Yeah, I think it would be easier to use the virtual balance. Look, there's a one so let's do the virtual balance. And the pennies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So here we can do the experiment all online on this screen right now. So let's first try adding a penny. Yeah, let's add one penny on one side, maybe. First, you want to read the questions, okay? So what happens when you put a penny on one side of the balance? Let's find out, one like side, you suggested. I think one side gets... So where's the penny? Which one's the penny? The brown circle. Yeah, this one is the penny with the pic with the picture of Abraham Lincoln on it. Okay. Abraham. Or the silhouette of Abraham Lincoln. So what happens when you put a penny on one side of the balance? I think one out. side will go down while the other goes up. Great hypothesis. Let's see if it's true. Let's see if that's correct. Oh, that's oh yes. Okay. So once you put the penny in there, the one side of the balance, the pen got lower. That means the penny is heavier than air. Nothing. Yeah, than air. air right here. Okay. How can we get the balance back to a balanced position? Put the mm. same thing there, or yeah, maybe we could try and balance it out with these red cubes. Yeah. So yeah, let's, let's keep adding red cubes and till it becomes a level. Can I right? take this side? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Is it balanced? Yeah. We're trying to balance it, remember? It, uh, yeah, it looks like it's already balanced. What happens when I add one more cube in there? Look. Well, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. It gets um, heavier. It looks like it, four is too much. Four uh, takes it out of balance. Four yeah, makes so this side heavier away. than the other let's side. Take so let's one take square. away one square. Are we gonna put it put it back right here? Okay, I put it back <laughs> up in the air. So, okay, so how many red cubes did it take Three. to make it balance with one penny? Three. Three. Let's check out the answers for this one. How happens when you put a penny on one side of the balance? The side of the balance with the penny goes down. When when there was one penny, remember when there weren't any red cubes here, this this pan was lower. Okay, so that's what this is saying. The answer, to the, the answer to the first question is saying. Now, the second question asks, how can we get the balance back to a balanced position? Well, we could do two things. First, we could take away the penny and the red cubes, and then, you know, the uh, balance would come back to a balanced position. But what we did is we left the penny in there, and we added um cubes until uh, we kept on adding cubes until the balance was in balance in the balanced position again so it took us three red cubes to bring it to the same level as that means the, the coin uh, is that means penny. the coin Let's see penny. If our answers okay put a penny on the other side oh yeah that's what we could have done we didn't have to do all of these complicated things okay let's start over yeah that was one okay so idea. one way to yeah your idea was better i was thinking too far ahead okay so let's put one penny on one side notice how once you drop a penny in one of the pans the side of that the that has the penny goes down and you wonder that and um, yeah and now to make it balance we can just add another penny on the other side and what happens if you want to make now it's in perfect balance wait okay but i have what if we put two pennies on this side, we just add three cubes. Oh, oh that's brilliant. Two yes, it makes it balance pen. again. Yeah. Beautifully done. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, now let's clear this up. It says here, replace one penny with a gram cube. Oh, so let's put the penny back in here and the penny back in there. 
Oops. Okay, here. Let's put this penny back. Put this penny back in both sides. Okay. So now this balance is perfectly balanced. And um, now we're going to replace this penny. <laughs> put this back <laughs> in. What did I just do? Oh, oh, let's start over again. Okay, kids, forget what just happened. Let's do this all over again. Okay. Dad, let's just put one penny on the left side, put one penny on the right side. Let's make this balanced. Okay, now this is a balance. Now we're going to replace one of the pennies. <laughs> Hope nothing ridiculous happens. Replace one penny with a gram cube. We're going to follow the instructions properly. So replace one penny with one gram cube. Let's see. It's not oh, balanced. what do you observe? It's not observe? balanced. It's not balanced. What else? And what else do you notice the, about this? The penny is under, below the, well, it's down, but well, the cube is up. That means we're not, it's not balanced, okay? It's not balanced. That means something is heavier and the other thing is lighter. Now, which yeah. one is heavier? The coin. Yeah, because the coin, the pan that the coin is in are um, lower than this other pan, which has the or one gram cube, it tells us that this coin must be heavier than this one gram cube right here. Let's see if we answer it correctly. Okay, it says the side with the penny sinks lower than the side with the gram cube. That's right. Yeah. Is the penny's mass more or less than one gram? What do you think? It's more than one gram. I, I think so too. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, you're correct. Now it says add gram cubes until the scale is balanced. What is the mass of one penny? Three, okay. we so what do we have to do? We have to add gram cubes until the scale is balanced. So let's keep Can adding cubes time? like we did before to make Can it balanced. Yes. Now you don't have a voice, but I'll do it. So let's check that. Or... Okay, so how many cubes did it take us to make it balance with the penny right here? One, two, three. So three. Yeah, it took us three cubes to make it balance with this one penny. So what do you think the mass of this one penny is? Three grams. Right. Remember, one of these cubes is one gram. So because we have three cubes right here, and each of these cubes is one gram, so there's one, two, three, three grams uh, on this side. And uh, the penny is the same level as these three cubes that weigh three grams collectively. So this penny must be three grams.